Good here with Mike Singer. <laughs> hey, Mike. Um, before the game, Malone told us that you guys expected uh, the Jazz to play through Bojan. Is that the most frustrating part to come out of this, that you that was the game plan, you expected that to happen, and then he went off? I mean, um, you know, he, yeah, they're, they're definitely running things through him. I think he had one of those nights where he was just making everything. We got to make it tougher for him. Uh, I've been playing inside the three-point line. But um, he just had one of those nights. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things we could have done better, but all their guys were just getting way too many open threes. Um, but he had a great game. Ryan Blackburn. Hey, Mike. Uh, Michael Malone talked about just multiple efforts and, and trying to get out to the three-point line as much as possible. How difficult is that on, on your body, especially in, in a season like this? And and is that just sort of an, an underrated factor when, when talking about defense in today's NBA? I mean, the elite teams do it. We got to do it every night, and we didn't really do that tonight. Uh, they had a lot of rhythm, rhythm threes, so... We definitely got to do better in that department. Katie Wingy. Hey, Mike. Paul getting two back-to-back -back starts now with all the injuries to the guards. What can you say about his professionalism and what he brings to this team? I know we talk about this a lot, but the fact that he can just slide right in, and especially tonight, putting up the numbers that he did. Yeah, Paul is definitely – I mean, he's a pro's pro. He's taught me a lot on how to, how to act as a pro. Um, but, you know, he – like you said, he's just – He's a professional. There was games where he wasn't playing, and then now there's games where he's starting, and he just he's always going to be the same, very even keeled. So uh, we all appreciate that about him. Vinny Benedetto. Hey, Michael, it seems like this might be like the mo one of the more intense workloads you've had on the basketball court in a while. I guess, how are you feeling physically at this point in the season, and what kind of things are you doing to kind of manage, you know, any of the nagging injuries or, you know, it, small injuries, those kind of things? I mean, I'm perfectly fine. You know, I like to play basketball, so it's not it's not like a hindrance for me to play all these games. Um, I'm 22, so, you know, I don't really I don't really feel the need to take games off, take days off. Um, you know, people people are concerned about my my past back history or whatever, but that's not a that doesn't bother me at all. So, um, I feel I feel fine. You know, I had an ankle sprain. That's almost back to 100. percent It's not quite there yet, but um, you know, I'm, I'm good. Leonardo Torres. Hi, hey Mike. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Mike, what positive things can you take away from this loss against the Utah Jazz? Yeah, I mean, that's, right now I think record-wise they're the number one team in the NBA, um, and I just think that it, tonight we we played hard you know it was a good game came down to the wire we made some mistakes that we shouldn't have made missed some open shots but I feel like we easily could have won this game um we could have easily swing the other way so that's a positive you know it's a good test for us just beating New York has been playing amazing played pretty good against Utah just came out a little bit short we got another big test tomorrow but overall we're in a pretty good spot so I wouldn't we're not panicking at all Mike Singer <clears throat> Hey, Mike, um, what's your relationship like with Jordan Clarkson, and do you like going up against him? I mean, we're both, you know, from Missouri. I grew up like a big fan of his because I was younger, and he played in Mizzou, and I got to go watch his games, and I always, you know, that was one of my favorite players on the team. So we definitely have a pretty cool relationship whenever I'm out here in L.A. in the offseason. I see him around, and we link up. Um, but now I have nothing but respect for that dude. There was a lot of people saying out of Missouri – that he wouldn't um, be that good of a pro. But you see what he's doing over there. Um, he's ridiculously talented. And I think he should probably win six men of the year. So um, nothing but respect for that dude. All right, Mike, we have time for one more. We're going to end with Esteban Abed. Hi, Mike, from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, considering the, the physically was this game um, uh, do you think this uh, was a biggest test from the playoff? You know, us in Utah, we definitely have a history. You know, everybody know what happened last year in the playoffs. Jamal and Donovan had that that historic playoff series, and uh, we came back from three to one. So this is definitely a little bit of a rivalry. So it's always going to be this physical when we match up. It's always going to be a good game. Um, but we're excited 
to, to see them in the playoffs, hopefully down the road, because um, it's, it's exciting to play against those guys. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Thanks.